An emergency closure was put in place for all schools in Coal Strip on Tuesday after a sprinkler line break and electrical issues were found here at Coal Strip High School. All activities were also set to be canceled, but some made adjustments saying the show must go on. All together, ready and Despite double-digit sub-zero temperatures, freezing pipes, and canceling school, dozens of kids filled the community center in Coal Strip for a once-in-a-year opportunity. So this week we are doing Treasure Island. That starts with a little red truck pulling into town. This winter and spring, Fiona Lazari and Andrew Mozingo are traveling across Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Washington. And the roads were dirty on the way here. As one of several two-person teams with the Missoula Children's Theater that travel to all 50 states in 17 different countries. On Monday, we cast all the kids in it, and then by Friday or Saturday, we put on the show, and it is a hour-long musical um, with a full cast of characters and singing and dancing. This week, the truck full of costumes, scripts, and sets pulled into Coal Strip, only to find weather delays. We have to adjust our schedule and make changes that way. But the town was determined to make the play go on. We had to get the word out with Facebook and texts and emails and word of mouth and and all these kids showed up when there was no school. Erlene Rosander is a retired teacher and has watched MCT plays come into Coal Strip for more than 30 years. The theater is something that children that are growing up in eastern Montana would never experience if we didn't bring it here. Do you get to be in plays a lot here? No. And for Coal Strip kids, it's a rare chance to try out show business. I just really want to be an actor when I grow up and everything, so I'm auditioning. And as every kid tried their best to make a splash, the MCT team says there's enough parts to include every young actor here in Coal Strip. In Coal Strip, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.